Affinity Photo, all the tools in the photo persona. The Hand or the View tool allows you to pan the document. Shortcut key is H. For panning, you can also press and hold the space key. Double-clicking on the tool will zoom to fit your document. By the way, you can never pan the document out of view. The Select or the Move tool may be the most fundamental tool. Used to select a single or multiple objects which can be moved, resized or rotated. The Color Picker tool Used to sample a color from the document or the screen. Shortcut key I. The Crop tool. Used for cropping the document to a specific size or ratio. The shortcut key is the letter C. Selection Brush tool. Allows you to make a selection by painting. When the Alt or Option key is pressed, you can remove the painted areas from the current selection. The Flood Select tool enables to make a selection from pixels with a similar color. By dragging the mouse to the left and the right, you can control the tolerance. The Rectangle Marquee Select tool As the name states, it can be used to create rectangular selections. The Elliptical Marquee Select tool Used for creating circular selections. The Column Marquee Select tool Used for making vertical selections spanning the whole document height. White can be customly set. The Raw Marquee Select tool Similar as the Column Marquee tool, but this time it will create horizontal selections. The Freehand Marquee Select tool Allows you to draw your own selections with a pencil. By the way, the shortcut key M will switch between these marquee tools. Fill or Flood Fill tool Used to fill a contained area with the selected color in the current layer and works only on pixel layers. The Gradient Fill tool Applies gradients to layers. Click and hold on a starting point and release at the ending point. Colors can be adjusted by selecting the two control points. The control points themselves can also be moved. The shortcut key G toggles between the fill and the gradient tool. The paint brush tool. Used for painting with a brush on a layer. Brushes can be selected in the brushes panel. The color replacement brush tool. Replaces the color of the pixels on the current pixel layer with the selected color. Only the color under the brush with the first click will be affected. The Pixel Brush Tool Used to paint with a pixel-aligned hard edge brush and has no anti-aliasing. The Paint Mixer Brush Tool the selected color will be smudged and mixed with the existing color in the layer. The shortcut B will toggle between these brush tools, but also between the smudge tool. The Erase Brush Tool Used to erase pixels from a pixel layer. Erased pixels will become transparent. The Background Erase Brush Tool Used to erase pixels of a similar color in a pixel layer. The Flood Erase Tool Used to erase pixels of a similar color with a single click. Similar to a flood fill, but instead of filling it with color, it erases. The shortcut key E will toggle between these erase tools. The Dodge Brush Tool Used during dodging and burning, the dodge tool lightens the areas you paint over. This tool is cumulative, meaning the more you paint over an area, the stronger the effect will be. The burn brush tool. This is the opposite of the dodge tool. 
Instead of making the painted area lighter, it will darken the painted area. Its effect is also cumulative. The sponge brush tool. Used to saturate or desaturate the color by selectively painting on it. The shortcut key O will toggle between the dodge, burn and the sponge brush tool. The clone brush tool. Used to clone or duplicate areas in an image. Very useful for removing defects. Press the Alt or Option key to select an area to sample from. Now if you start painting on a different area, the sample source will be duplicated. The shortcut key is S. The Undo Brush or the History Brush Tool Used to restore a part of an image from the snapshot history. Click on the camera icon in the snapshot panel first and then paint. The painted area will be restored from the snapshot. The Blur tool. Used to blur hard edges. The effect will be cumulative. The more you paint, the more it will be blurred. The Sharpen tool. Used to selectively sharpen areas of a pixel layer by increasing the contrast between the pixels. The effect is again cumulative. The Median Brush Tool Used to selectively reduce noise by blending the pixels with each other. The Smudge Brush Tool Allows you to drag colors around in an image, similar like dragging a finger through wet paint. The Healing Brush Tool Used for repairing and retouching. Works like the Clone Brush Tool. Alt or Option click to select the source. You can now heal from the source. Unlike the Clone Brush Tool, it does not make an exact duplicate of the source, but blends the source with the existing pixels, giving a more of a healing effect. The Patch Tool. This is similar to the Healing Brush, but instead of painting an area, you can select an area you want to be patched and then select the source. Useful for healing large areas. The Blemish Removal Tool Used to remove small imperfections with a single click. The effect is similar to a healing brush. Works great for portrait photos. The Inpainting Brush Tool Used for restoring or removing areas. It will sample from the neighboring areas and try to replace the painted area. You can see it as an automatic clone and heal tool. Mostly used to remove unwanted objects or artifacts, but also can be used to fill gaps. The Red Eye Removal Tool. This quickly fixes the red eye effect in a photo by removing the red color from it. The shortcut J will toggle between all the mentioned healing tools. The pen tool, used to precisely draw lines and shapes. A new curve layer will be added. The note tool, used to edit existing vector objects, like lines and shapes created with the pen tool. Double-clicking between a line will add a new note. You can also drag and select multiple notes, which then can be moved or deleted. The Vector Shape Tools Affinity has a large collection of vector shapes. The most used are probably the Rectangle and the Ellipse tool. With the shortcut key U, you can toggle between them. The Artistic Text Tool or the Text Tool allows to add text to your document and is suited for short pieces of text. Click on the document to add the text or you can click and drag to set the text height. This will create a text layer. When clicked on an existing text layer, it will allow you to edit the text. The Frame Text Tool Used for adding a frame which will act as a container for text. Best suited for long text with paragraphs. Click and drag an area 
which will act as the container. The container can always be adjusted in size, position or rotation. The shortcut key T will toggle between the artistic text and the frame text tool. The mesh warp tool used to distort or warp an image using notes. By double clicking in the mesh you can add notes which you can move around to distort the image. Can be used for creative effects but also very useful for corrections in an image. Keep in mind this effect is destructive and once applied you cannot go back and adjust the distortion. The perspective tool used to modify the perspective of an image by applying a warp along one or more planes. Just like with the mesh, the effect cannot be modified after it has been applied. The zoom tool. This tool changes the document zoom by moving left or right with the mouse. Clicking with it will zoom in and option alt click will zoom out. Double clicking on the tools icon will set the zoom to 100%. Shortcut key is the Z key. Keep in mind that many of these tools have additional settings and modifier keys which can change the behavior or the functionality. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a more detailed video on a specific tool. Thank you for watching and have a great day.